one tower, two towering haircuts, and a very big adventure. Go, Jedward! Jedward are about to give an unsuspecting group of sightseers a tour they'll never forget. <laughs> they'll go head to head to see who will be the best tour guide. But on the way, there'll be a few nasty surprises. Yeah. So, who will get their facts straight? No, less than two hours. And who will be locked in the stocks? <laughs> Come with us, there's so much to discover. A crazy adventure with me and my brother. We'll dig up things that will freak you out. Cause this is Jedward's big adventure. Woo! Be a tall guy, there's so much to do. There's a whole planet out there and it's just for you. You never know what you'll find and we'll mess with your mind. Raise a hand, raise a trail, raise a totally wild. Amazing Jedward's big adventure. The United Kingdom, a place of great beauty, rich in history. So who better to bestow this knowledge on future generations than... Oh my no! Jedward? You used too much dynamite. The twins have decided to leave their megastar lifestyles behind to try and become the UK's best tour guide. Their challenge is simple. To visit our biggest attractions and compete with each other to give the best tour. Each with help from a celebrity friend. All they have to do now is find their first location. Easy. I don't believe it. We're lost again. John, Edward, our CBC careers are in ruins. And it's all because we can't find the Tower of London. John, we're right here. Look. We made it. I knew we could make it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're at the tower! We're, we're at the, the tower, tower of London! London. Yeah. yeah! John, this is it! This is our mission! Dear Jedward, in just 24 hours' time, you will each have to give a group of tours a guided tour around the Tower of London. But we don't know anything about the Tower of London. At the end of the day, the tourists will be tested to see which of you has taught them the most. Whoever has given them the worst tour will have to face the stocks and prepare for a drenching. <laughs> to help you in this challenging mission, you'll be assisted by two celebrities. By two celebrities that know everything and everything about the Tower of London? No, Joe Swash and Brian Darling. Yeah! It's Joe Swash and Brian Darling. Hi. Hello, Hi. guys. Can't Hello. wait to have you guys yeah. on our show. We got one question for you guys. What do you guys know about the Tower of London? Well. It's a tower. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I think it's in London. It is. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna go ask the experts. So you guys relax, yeah. well, we go get the facts. Oh, we like it, I like it. Relax when I get the facts. It rhymes. We're, we're at the, the tower. tower. We're, we're at the, the tower. tower. Yeah! The boys are off to discover all there is to know about the tower. For tomorrow's tour, they'll be separated. John will team up with Brian and Edward with Joe. Look, here's an information map. Explore the tower. Look, John, we are here. Today is John and Edward's only chance to get the all-important tower facts before tomorrow, when they compete to give the best guided tour. Edward, if we don't get these facts right, then the tour will be a disaster. Yours is going to be a disaster. No, Mine's not. No. I'm going to win. Edward, I'm going to win you. Right now, they must find the experts and get the info. And who better to ask than one of the tower's famous beef eaters, otherwise known as a yeoman warder. What's a yo man? Like yo man? Yo 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 the only female yeoman. Or should that be yo woman? I don't know. Yeah. John, Moira, we know you guys are called yeomen, but why is your nickname Beef Eaters? Do you guys eat loads of beef? It's simply a nickname. Beef Eaters. Some people think it's because beef was once a luxury only the king could eat. And that he offered down some of his beef to his loyal guards, possibly as payment or rations. Hello, Edder, so daydream, okay? We gotta listen to what John has to say. It takes a yeoman warder years to become a tower expert. Jedward have just 24 hours. So what other facts can they get from Chief Yeoman John for their tours tomorrow? <laughs> Tell us about the Tower of London. There's, there's loads of towers going on here. 
It's a total of 21 towers that we have here that make up the Tower of London. This is the original White Tower. Over there. In 1078, it was started by William the Conqueror. What, William the Conqueror? Do you play like conquerors? You no, know, conquerors, you get the string, you conquerors, you the conquer. No, not at all. He was a Norman king who came over from France, but he wanted to show people how strong he was. So he ordered the White Tower to be built. But it wasn't big enough for Richard the Lionheart. And under his reign, the Tower of London doubled in size. But that still wasn't big enough for Henry III. With a load of rebellious barons on his back, he made the tower the mightiest castle in the country. More kings came along and added more towers. And then Henry VIII made it even grander by adding on some royal chambers. The tower was getting bigger and bigger. Mind you, it wasn't the only one. By the end of his life, he weighed over 20 stone and was so fat, he had to be winched into bed. Okay, I was having a vision. Okay, let's go see some more. So, to recap, one tower plus another two towers and a king and another king, some more towers, some chambers, and living quarters. <gasps> Oh, so much to remember for tomorrow, but there's still more they need to know. Even though there's 21 towers, it is still called the Tower of London, what it should be called the Towers of London. John and Edward must remember everything they're told, as the winner will be decided when the tourists take a test. Come on, let's go! And the boys have no idea which questions the tourists will be asked. But now, they're off to find another yeoman. He's in the torture chamber. Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> So what's all this? This is some of the instruments of torture we used at the tower. Torture? That sounds so this scary. This is about torture! <laughs> That's the manacles, where they would hang you up on the wall and just let your body weight pull you down. Of course, you've got the rack here, where they would stretch you. Like an elastic band? No, elastic bands go back. When you're stretched on that, you don't go back. <laughs> your shoulder joints would break. They'd break your knee joints and you'd hear the crunch of your bones cracking as the rack was slowly turning. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The prisoner would be put on the rack, their arms and legs tied to two rollers. Then using a crank, the torture would slowly stretch the prisoner. It was agony. Limbs would be dislocated or broken, or sometimes even torn off altogether. Even if the prisoner survives, their limbs were often stretched and damaged so much they were completely useless. That was horrible. Who's the most famous person stretched? Uh, probably Guy Fawkes. Who was Guy Fawkes? Guy Fawkes was the man that tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament. We celebrate it every year on the November the 5th. Guy yeah. Fawkes night. You have like all the fireworks. That's right. But he was brought here. He was put on the rack, lasted less than two hours. And once he was off the rack, of course, Execution. <coughs> to give you some idea of what it was like to go in the rack, that is his signature before he went on the rack. Before his autograph. The That's his autograph after it being on the rack. That looks nothing like that. He must have been in so much pain. Like, oh. The boys are already halfway through their mission to discover all there is to know about the Tower of London. Let's go! Tomorrow, they must bring these stories to life with the help of their celebrity friends, Brian Dowling and Joe Swash. How do you think they're getting on? I don't know. I, I'm, I think I'm slightly concerned. Ed, OK, I'm not sure I'll get all the facts right, OK? I like, torch is crazy. Okay, what else is crazy? I don't know, OK? I learned that, like, way of the Conqueror came here. I don't want to be put in the stocks. I don't I'd either. you. You're going down. Like, you're going down. You're going down. If you lose, you're getting in the stocks. I'm not going to lose. Brian and Joe are relying on the boys to gather all the tower facts, or they'll also be locked in the stocks. There's no time to waste. Focus, boys. You're about to meet another beef eater. Hey, Brian and Kay, we're here to find out about the Ravens case. So what are the Ravens case? It means our amazing ravers. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he means Ravens case. I think he means birds. I birds. certainly do. Yes, these are Ravens. <laughs> They're basically the largest bird in the crow family, but certainly the most intelligent. So why are the ravens here? Well, they're here actually because of a very, very old and important legend. 
which states that the kingdom, that's Great Britain to you and me, will fall if the Ravens ever leave the Tower of London. Charles II even made a royal decree that six Ravens must be kept at the Tower at all times. The order has been respected ever since, even though the Ravens can sometimes be trouble. One of our Ravens, Raven George, was sacked because he kept eating television areas. While another, Raven Grog, used to run off and go to the pub. Add it, okay? Let's go find out what the Ravens eat. Yeah, let's go. Were you daydreaming? Whoa! Size that bird. Whoa, it's like Big Bird. Look, we got food for you. Mooney, come here and take your lunchbox. Look, nice hearts. Yeah, hearts. Jaya, they're eating hearts. It's crazy. Yeah, well, the reason for that is they're carnivorous birds. What's carnivorous? Carnivorous, it means that they're meat eaters. They eat meat. What's a bird call that eats vegetables? Uh, a bird, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Yeah. For their tours tomorrow, the stories John and Edward have been told will be divvied up between them, ravens included. But who gets first dibs? I bags the story on the ravens. No, I bags that story. Who said you could bags it? Who said you could bags it? Who said you could bags it? But I want to say it tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm saying it. Oh, this could go on forever. But hang on, boys, there's still so much more you need to know. These animals, for instance. Time to find out from a lady with the info. This is the lady. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, hello. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Say hello to Jed Cam. Hi, Jed Cam. Rebecca, oh, yeah. you're so cool. <laughs> I'm here to tell you all about the animals that used to live at the tower. Yeah. In what was called the menagerie. It was like a royal zoo. We had lions, we had tigers, we had llamas, parrots. Medieval kings used to give each other rare and unusual animals as presents. And no one really knew how to treat them. A leopard used to steal umbrellas and hats from anyone stupid enough to get close and would wee on them. When a monkey tore a boy's leg, they moved the menagerie out of the tower and into Regent's Park, where it's known today as London Zoo. Those animals are so cool! Your own imaginary! It's a menagerie! A menagerie. Weeing leopards and violent monkeys. How will John or Edward tell that story in their tour, I wonder? Oh no, not there! That's the Queen's house! I don't think you should be going in there. People have been beheaded for less. Let's hope the boys don't lose their heads. <laughs> go Jedward! Yeah, go Jedward! That can't happen nowadays anyway, can it? Time to meet our last expert. Look out, he's got a massive axe! So, Yeoman, what is the traitor's gate? Well, what you see there is probably the most famous, or should I say infamous, gates in history. Traitor's gate. <laughs> Seven prisoners came in through this gate and were beheaded inside the Tower of London. These people were accused or convicted of treason, one of which was the famous prisoner, Queen Anne Boleyn. Henry VIII married Anne Boleyn in 1533, but just three years later she fell out of favour and was sent here as his prisoner. She never left. Not that she was the last of Henry VIII's wives to meet a grisly end at the Tower, in 1542, Catherine Howard, his fifth wife, was executed here as well. Ah, don't pet me! Let's get out of here, yo! <laughs> the voyage of discovery is over, and it's goodbye experts. Tomorrow, John and Edward must become the experts themselves and compete to give some tourists a tour that they'll never forget. Question is, can they remember anything at all? We have to focus, Kate. We gotta think of all the facts we learned today. How are we gonna make it come to life? We need to get the whole thing and make it so much cooler. Editor, think about Kate. And what else? What the torture thing? I don't know how. I hope I get the ravens. Editor, I love Kate. the ravens. I love that. Oh, the whole editor, I knew everything editor, the ravens. Editor. I'm serious, Kate. I don't think I know all the facts. It's time for the boys to meet up with Brian and Joe again and divvy up those stories. Brian, oh, Joe, no. it's time to go. Let's go. Whoa, you're gonna lose. We're not gonna lose. You're, you're gonna, gonna lose. lose. See you in the stocks, Joe. See you in the stocks. See you in the stocks. Let's go, Edward. John and Brian are our names. And together we are to Brian. Team Edward. Yeah. You will teach the tourists who the beef eaters are and what their real name is. 
You have to teach a tourist the origins of the tower and who built it and how many towers there are today. I know this one. Do you know this one? Yeah, do you know yeah. this one? You will teach the tourists about the use of torture and how long it took before Guy Fawkes gave up. So how can you make that interesting? We need to teach a tourist about the magnificent ravens. But I was thinking maybe like a raven costume. You'll be teaching the tourists about the animals that lived at the tower and the name given to the zoo. <gasps> I think dress up time. This could be so much fun. I know. How many people were beheaded at the tower? It's Six. Tough. Seven. I don't know which one it was. Yeah, Jabrine all the way. Jabrine, yeah. yeah. Edward, we've got our plan, we know what we're doing. Your name's Joe. Your name's Edward. Can we hear? Joe Word! Yeah! Yeah! With only a few hours left in the day, the boys are heading back to Jedward HQ to get ready for tomorrow. Edward, I'm gonna beat you, okay? Whatever. Edward, I know way more facts John, than you. Okay. You couldn't even find the place this morning. Edward, I always knew where we were going. John, okay. the Tower of London was so big and you couldn't even see it. Tomorrow, it's competition time, and they must both prepare a tour that has to entertain and inform if they want to win. You're going to lose tomorrow. No, you're going to lose. Oh, morning! It's 6 a.m., and a group of tourists are on their way to the tower. They have no idea that Jedward are about to be their guides in a tour of a lifetime. Meanwhile, back at Jedward HQ, the boys are waking after a long night of planning. Guys, okay, we're totally ready to go, okay? We're really excited, okay? Edna, let's go! Guys, okay, today me and John have to wear different clothes. So John's wearing pants shoes, I'm gonna wear a new pair of runners. Right, I'm excited, I've never been to Tower of London. I don't know anything about the tower, at all. Yeah, I remember everything. The large tower was originally called a tower because there's only one tower. And as time and time went by, the towers got more and more people. Guys, more. okay, I'm serious, and then, I don't remember Richard. anything. I have not got a clue who may be doing the tours today. I really hope it's someone clever, because I think we've got to learn stuff. What else? I don't know anything, but I know everything. So I actually can't remember anything. All I can remember is those ravens, and they, they, they flew around the place. So that's what my, else that's my thing. No, it's my thing. I'm actually doing... What am I actually doing? I'm doing ravens. I'm doing ravens. And then I'm talking about... What am I actually talking about? The... The... What am I talking about? I'm totally prepared, John. Earlier last night, I made loads and loads of cool stuff. It's almost time to face the music. The tourists are only minutes away. Which team will give the best tour? Which team will face the stocks? It's showtime. I can't watch. I don't know what's going to happen today. I mean, whenever you work with Jedward, I think you just got to expect the unexpected. I asked John what he knew about the torture chamber and Guy Fawkes. He was like, yeah, we're going to win. Whoa. The fact that I know more about the Tower of London than John is slightly alarming. The tourists are in for the surprise of their life. It's time to meet their tour guides. Go! Ah! Oh oh hey guys, what's going on? Oh what up, guys? Kate? I'm John. I'm Edward. And together we are Jedward. How far is our run? It's going, guys. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Jedward. I thought they weren't real, and they are. Our special friends are here with us. Brian Dowling and Joe Swash, make some noise! Today I think it's gonna be great. I don't know what's gonna happen, it might be a bit crazy. You know, I think it'll be memorable, but whether it's the facts that we need to remember or not is probably a different matter. All right, guys, let's go. Come on, go, let's, go. Learn, let's go. It's time for the boys to put all their plans into action. They each have three stories to tell. Don't forget, the team who don't deliver the correct info will face the dreaded stocks. <laughs> John and Brian are up first with a tale of the tower's famous beef eaters. They must make the tourists remember the beef eaters' other name. You guys are probably wondering right now in your brains who this guy is and this amazing uniform. He is a beef eater, AKA also known as a yeoman warder. This is what it stands for. Yeoman Warders of Her Majesty's Royal Palace of the Sovereigns. Oh, okay, hey. Yeoman Warders means. Oh dear. John's confused. So are the tourists. And so am I. It's important the boys get the info across in a way the tourists will remember. Or Yeoman Warder for sure. So that's, that's a lot easier. I think we'll just we'll go with Yeoman Warder, okay? <laughs> John and Brian have left the tourists proper confused, which means Edward and Joe have a chance to do better. They're tackling the story of how many towers there are at the Tower of London. It's important they mention the number. 
To explain, the boys have decided to show them which kings built which towers. And it all started with William the Conqueror. Hey, hey, wee, 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 wee. My name is Mr. Conqueror. You all been conquered. <laughs> what I need now is a lovely tower. But it wasn't big enough for Richard the Lionheart. It wasn't big enough for Richard the Lionheart. You've got no chance. Can you take me? Richard the Lionheart, where are you? This story could take some time. King after king after king after king, and still no mention of towers, until finally... Edward III came and built the final tower, the Cradle Tower, which made a final of 21 towers, the Tower of London. That's it! Yes! <laughs> nice one, fellas. But could all the props and costumes have made the tourists miss the key fact? John and Brian are hoping so. After all the confusion with the yeoman, they need to step up their game. They've planned a rib-tickling story about Guy Fawkes that they hope the tourists won't forget. The one detail they must get across is how long he lasted on the rack. Yeah. We've got the most famous instrument of torture, the, the rack. rack. Ah! And the most famous person to be stretched on this was Guy Fawkes. He lasted less than two hours. How long? Two hours. No, less than two hours. This was his autograph before he came in. And then after, this is what his autograph looked like. He was like, I can't smell it. <laughs> <laughs> These are Jaguar tickle sticks. We're going to tickle you so much that you're not going to be able to write your name. Okay, well, Letitia, three, two, one, write your name now. Go! <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go. Let's have a look at Letitia's. Yes! Life. Think about it, okay? Guy Fox lasts less than two hours. You last ten seconds. Last than ten seconds. Give it up for the T-shirt, everybody. Of course, talk to the tourists. What a great way to get them to remember. John and Brian are back in the game. I'm not going to forget the guys being tickled. That was very funny. <laughs> very memorable. It's Edward and Joe's turn again with the legend of the ravens. Now you're complete. You are a raven. I actually feel like a raven. Let's go, Edward. The boys need to impress and get across to the tourists how many ravens are kept at the tower at all times. Raven, where are you? <coughs> Raven, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Stop it there. <laughs> okay, as you guys are probably wondering, Joe's dressed up as a raven because ravens are so important here. There is six ravens here, and it all goes back to an old legend. If there isn't six ravens, the White Tower will turn to dust. Push me, push me, I need to push. <laughs> Joe's crazy ravens got everyone in stitches, but will they recall the crucial info later when they're tested? Raven, I got this suit especially made. You're not meant to be attacking me. I'm Edward from Jedward. <laughs> <laughs> so not cool. Whatever Edward and Joe can do, Team Jabrian can do better. <laughs> Make your noise, your animal. What you're a animal tiger. You? Make you're a zebra. Rock. They're making everyone dress up for the story of the zoo, where many animals once lived at the tower. The boys must explain the zoo's special name if they stand a chance of winning. The Menagerie, okay, was basically a place where all the animals went. Here in the Tower of London, they used to have every single type of animal. They had elephants, they had zebras, they lions, had bears, they tigers. had lions, they had polar bears. What? Now they were all dressed as animals. Let's do a song. I love a song. With a ooh ooh here, and a ooh ooh there. Here ooh there, whatever. Ooh ooh was a kid who had a tar. E I E I. I have an idea. What? Let's chase the animals back into the wild. Go! Come on! <laughs> Did they mention the name of the zoo? And with all that singing and dancing, will the tourists remember? That was all a bit crazy. So much singing and dancing. I don't know if I took any of that information in right then. Edward and Joe have decided to up the ante. Yes, that's right. It's time for Edward to put on a dress. There she is. The boys are heading to Traitor's Gate, and they must get across how many prisoners were beheaded at the tower. This is Traitor's Gate. Traitor, traitor, traitor. <laughs> All the prisoners were brought through this gate and there was seven people beheaded and the most famous person that was beheaded was Queen Anne Berlin, which I am today, but she wasn't a guy, she was a girl. But this is like really unusual for me, I never wear dresses. <laughs> I'm ready for a performance, Edward. 
Let's do this. Traitors, traitors, come through, traitors, come through. Uh, 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 calm down, calm down. I'm not going to cut your head off with an axe. Oh. I'm going to cut it off with a sword. Oh. Come here, you. Come here, come here. Edward has impressed with his dress wearing skills, but is it enough to make the tourists remember and keep Joe Wood out of the stocks? <laughs> The teams have played kings and queens, monkeys and ravens, danced, sang and tickled their way through a tremendous tour of the tower. But how well do they think they've done? All in all, out of ten, we got definitely got ten. And I would say we say we could get offered a new job here today. Yeah. Edward is a fountain of knowledge. He knew everything. It's time to test the tourists. Uh. The tourists will be asked one question on each of the stories. How many ravens need to be kept at the tower? I'd either keep one spare. For each correct answer, there's a point for the team who told that story. Wow. Um... And the team with the most points wins. What are the beef eaters called? The Yeoville or something. Yeoman Warriors. Ye Yeoman Warriors. Yeah. While the losers will be locked in the stocks, face a giant catapult and the ultimate drenching. <laughs> you think we've done it? I hope we've won. If we don't win this, this could be like the end of our career. It could be the end of Jedward. But the start of Joe Wood. Losing to Joe Swash. Police. Joe Word. <laughs> like, come on. We definitely have to win this. The test is over. The scores are in. It's time to reveal the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, here I have the final results. With a score of 20 points, John O'Brien. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yes, we're winners! We're definitely winning this! Double 10, 20, 20, 20! And Joe and Edward have a score of... 28! No! 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 Why did we lose, John? It's all to do with the name. Many of them said Yeoman Warriors. Yeoman Warriors! Yeoman Warders! How could you Keep guys get that wrong? We told you to pay attention! Listen, open your ears! Losers John and Brian have been locked in the stocks. The ancient catapult is being primed and loaded. The boys are only moments away from their fate. I was there at the dressing just to make it look pretty. You Brian, it's your talking. fault. How's it my fault? It's your fault. You were giving the talk. You used the envelope, the big sure gold envelope. The new was Yeoman Warder, not Yeoman oh, Warder. I just wanted to dress up as a monkey. Oh, me too. Meanwhile, Edward and Joe are eyeing up their target. It's time for a drenching. Three, two, one. Oh, oh you lucky little sausage, Brian. Ride it, Jack. Go! 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 My hair! My hair! Open it! Go! Edward, you get in there! Oh, you messed up! You're my team! Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha!